Ancient DNA was used to identify the earliest known people to have suffered from various genetic disorders affecting the number of chromosomes. The findings of the high-tech study were published in the journal Communications Biology. Human DNA is arranged in pairs of molecules called chromosomes. The chromosomes which determine whether a person is male or female are named X and Y. Usually females have two X chromosomes, double X, and males have an X and a Y chromosome, XY. Aneuploidy occurs when a person's cells have an extra or missing chromosome. If this occurs in particular chromosomes, this can cause differences such as delayed development or changes in height around puberty. Led by the Francis Crick Institute, the research team developed a new technique to measure the number of chromosomes in ancient genomes more precisely. In this way, they identified the first prehistoric person with mosaic Turner syndrome, where one of the X chromosomes in a female is missing or partially missing, who lived about 2,500 years ago. They also found the earliest known person with Jacob syndrome, where a male has an extra Y chromosome, XYY, in the early medieval period. They also found three people with Klein-Felter syndrome, where a male has an extra X chromosome, XXY, across a range of time periods. And an infant with Down syndrome, where a person has three copies of chromosome number 21 instead of two, from the Iron Age. Ancient DNA samples can erode over time and can be contaminated by DNA from other ancient samples or from people handling them. This makes it difficult to accurately capture differences in the number of chromosomes. To overcome this, the team developed a computational method which counts a number of copies of X and Y chromosomes and compares the outcome to a predicted baseline, what one would expect to see. The team used the new method to analyse ancient DNA from a large data set of individuals collected as part of the Thousand Ancient British Genomes Project across British history. This identified six individuals with aneuploidies across five sites in Somerset, Yorkshire, Oxford and Lincoln. The individuals lived across a range of time periods from the Iron Age, 2,500 years ago, up to the post-medieval period, about 250 years ago. They identified five people who had chromosomes which fell outside of the XX or XY categories. All were buried according to their society's customs, although no possessions were found with them to shed more light on their lives. The three individuals with Klein-Felter syndrome lived across very different time periods, but they shared some similarities. All were slightly taller than average and showed signs of delayed development in puberty. One of the individuals had been excavated from the medieval cemetery under Longwall Quad at the University of Oxford's Magdalen College. By investigating details on the bones, the research team could see that it was unlikely that the individual with Turner syndrome had gone through puberty and started menstruation despite their estimated age of between 18 and 22. Their syndrome was shown to be mosaic. Some cells had one copy of chromosome X and some had two. Co-author of the study, Rick Schulting, Professor of Scientific and Prehistoric Archaeology at the University of Oxford, said, The results of this study open up exciting new possibilities for the study of sex in the past, moving beyond binary categories in a way that would be impossible without the advances being made in ancient DNA analysis. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and most importantly subscribe. And you can also support the channel on Subscribestar via the link in the description, or via YouTube Super Thanks. Thanks for watching, bye for now.